What's going on Shady people? Shady Penguin here and I'm so excited. I haven't even launched the game, but we are kicking off our breath. No, no. Now we're finally going to kick off our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I was torn on whether I was going to LP this or just play it on my own uh, in my living room, but I don't think I'll ever get the chance to share a brand new Zelda game with you guys again. And if I do, it'll be way in the future. So I decided, you know what? Let's rock out on the channel. Additional content, let's do it. Press L and R on the controller. Yes, I'm using a pro controller. Let's get it. Let's get it. So I decided, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's not think too much about it. Nintendo presents. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start crying. If you guys don't know, Zelda is my favorite uh, franchise of all time. I'm like waiting. I, why is this so simple? What? Where are there supposed to be this like I guess so. That's what it was supposed to be like that. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. I'm so not used to the fact that there's voice acting. What? This is so futuristic! Goodness. All right, we're here. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Wow, it feels kind of funny. I guess I'll get used to it. <laughs> I guess I'll get used to it. Okay, let's try to get out this door. Can't get out the door, controls. Uh, okay, we can save and load right from here. That's really cool. X jumps, A is action, B is put away. Oh, that's our run. I thought it said B was jump. Uh, uh, he's trying to grab something. Give it to me! Oh, Y is... That's X. X is jump. Did I just read that wrong? Oh, yeah, X is jump. I'm stupid. Okay. Uh, I kind of wish... I wish A was jump, because you hold B to run. Oh, well. All right, let's check out this thing so we can examine it. I just saw... That sounds like Twilight Princess. I guess Twilight Princess was pretty futuristic as well. That Yo. is a Sheikah slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Give it to me. I'll take it. I'll take it right now. My controller just vibrated, rumbled. Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet, there's something familiar about it. So I was just sleeping. I had a long slumber. This is so different. I'm like, actually, I've been groomed, or I've been like, I don't know, I'm supposed to be this hero. These old trousers are threadbare, threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. Open the inventory, and we can put some pants on. We have equipment. I am going to lose myself in this game. We got a shirt, too? I love the way the chests glow. We got an old shirt as well. Awesome. Okay, so this is the link that we know. We can pick this up. Throw it. That was not a throw. I pressed R to throw, and he just dropped it. Let's see. 
Maybe I, pre I might, might have pressed right bumper. I did. That's the throw. Ah, senorita. Being able to just jump is so weird. Oh my gosh, because like you can never jump. Whoa. I don't think I'm supposed to know how to do this yet. I clicked, I clicked right R R3 and that happened. Uh, that was an accident. That was not supposed to be on purpose. That will show you the way. Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon High Rule once again. Now go. So when did I get put to sleep? Oh my goodness. So B is sprint. Running out of, ah! Oh, if your stamina wheel runs out, you'll be too tired to do certain actions until it fills up again. Oh my gosh, I'm super riled. <laughs> oh man. Look at this game. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the handheld, honestly. I have so many goosebumps. Oh man. So wild. Oh, I see this weapon. This is our weapon. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Oh my gosh. Holy crapola, man. This game looks massive. A common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. Oh my gosh. Change weapon quickly. Oh. Bigger tree branch. Ha ha ha. More Hylian shrooms. I'll take it. I'll I'll get some medicine. I'll medicine up right now. I don't care. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can change the controls. Ability controls? I don't even know what that is. I can't change. Can I change the controls? No. Shoot. I definitely would have swapped A and uh, A and B. I 100% would have swapped them. But it's fine. All right. So we're just we're we're rummaging. This feels like Skyrim right now. Me trying to collect these items. Oh, I can push this down. Wait. This is probably what I have to do. I probably have to push this down on them. Or maybe not. <laughs> Bye, buddy! Oh my gosh, this game is redonkulous. Ooh, there's a squirrel. Can I kill him? Where's he going? He's a fast little bugger. Get over here. Butterfly. No. All right, fine. Forget it. Forget it then. I think we're gonna have to fight these, uh, these goons over here with their campfire. Ooh, we got apples in the tree. Do we gotta smack them out? Or can I climb? I can climb. Whoo! Mid air! Taking that apple. There we go. I'm gonna fight. Oh, it's an old man Jenkins. Can I steal this from you? Baked apple! Hello! Three quarters of a heart. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking what you please. Oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. 
Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Who are you and by? Just straight up by. Mm -hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. He looks like the king. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Okay, okay. Wow, I love the, I love the detail. Hearing his little lamp clink and clank. Mm. That temple there, long ago it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Is that the Temple of Time? Ever since the decline of the kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Okay, so 100 years ago, yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Anything else to say? What are you doing? Ooh. I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course. Although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be served. So can I, can I roast on the fire as well? Hmm. I've already, I've already, I've already heard what you have to say. I was hoping that, um, ooh, can I take this? A torch! This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will stay extinguished until you light it again. Well then, just help yourself to that torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it? <laughs> to set things on fire as a weapon. Uh, as a weapon. Hmm. Innovative, however, that is probably best used to light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. Many beasts roam the land past this point. You can take my axe with you if you please, assuming you can hmm. find it. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Uh, L- Okay. Ah. L2. Okay. Well, what's cool is that Link is- No way, Kubar is here. Oh, okay. I thought it was the owl. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. So, hit minus to access your Sheikah Slate. And this is where we have to head. Okay. All right. First, can I find this axe? Oh my gosh. I'm I'm thoroughly in love with this game. I am thoroughly in love with this game. I really wish either A was jump or... Ah, oh, is there really no way to switch that? That is such a drag if there's not. Aim with motion controls. Completely off. Change the jump button? It was right there. Wait, but all it did was swap. I guess that's a little easier, but it's not what I wanted. Wait, should I climb this? How high can we climb? Yo, Link is a boss! Look at him go! I don't think this is smart, though. Let's let go. I don't think that's smart. Oh, crap, this game is gorgeous. I don't- I'm, like, running out of words. Yeah, this is a little bit easier. Putting X on top to run and be on the bottom is a little bit easier. But I would have still rather have just swapped it completely. He's all talkative. Oh, me oh, there's the axe. Oh, it's right here. Sweet. So it's all along the way. A woodcutter's tool choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing makes it slow, inefficient weapon. You can throw the weapon in your hand? What? So if we do this... Wait, what? It has to be- okay, so I guess it has to be the axe. Oh, it's that one, that's why. Oh my gosh. That's awesome! That's really cool. And you just pick it back up. Yo, it really- look, this is grass for us to cut! This is so amazing! Alright, can I light this fire? Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I know how to light the fire. Give me the torch, and we can go like that. Let's light this torch. There we go. Wait, why? No! Oh, you could you put away things when you run. That's my fault. Okay, so no running while you have a torch out, guys. Can we light this fire? 
There we go. That's what I was trying to. Can I light the grass? Yes! Burn it all down! I like that. Can I light the stump? Oh, I'm a pyromaniac. Come on. Can I light this grass? No, you can't light this grass. You can only light the big ones, but maybe you have to light the big ones. Whoa. Oh, I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. I'm literally starting a forest fire, but I kind of like it. I wonder why, like, that wind started blowing. That's interesting. It's like they knew. All right, let's not... Let's not get on fire anymore. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Can I chop the tree down? Yes! All right, this game is out of control. Such a simple thing gets me extremely riled. All right, we gotta head to the point in our map. We should do this. I'm just having fun exploring, guys. I'm sorry. No way! Are you kidding me? Take that, and he's got a health bar? I don't think I have any sort of dodging or... Um, I don't think I have... What do you call it? Wow, no beeping. Well, there was beeping, but now it's just like... Shh. I have to explore. Acorn, often found on the ground near trees, squirrels adore this nuts, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. We got a restless cricket, a very energetic cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir, and we got some wood. Portable bundle of wood, you can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. Oh my gosh. So this game is super, uh, super about the um, survival and doing stuff like that, which I love that kind of stuff. A single swing of this giant sturdy leaf can gust, create a gust of wind strong enough to blow away light objects. These will fall sometimes from trees when they're chopped down. Well, that's what, that's what actually happened. So this axe is super important. We get wood from it. We get some tree branches. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna see if I can eat something. Uh, yes. So where is that baked apple? Because you have been hurt and I will fix you. Okay, I wonder if our inventory can ever get full. I hope not. I honestly hope it's unlimited. All right, let's keep heading towards the, towards the point. I love that jump attack. Wait, oh, I was gonna climb this. No, that's not, what, why would I, what? That was amazing. Why would I climb a tree when I could just chop it down? Someone tell me. Oh my gosh. Just disintegrated into nothingness. I'll, listen, I feel like wood is gonna be super important. I'm gonna keep getting some wood. You guys ready? Jump and slice! Like, I can't roll or anything yet. Not that I know of. How do I, how would I roll? Oh, I can throw my axe, that's right. Oh my gosh, he's bodied him. Give me that club. A crude bakabalin club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its durability is low. I can't carry any more melee weapons, wow. So our inventory can fill up. We got a Bakabalin horn, the severed horn of a Bakabalin. A creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but it can be tossed into stew with some critters to make an elixir. Okay, so I would like to throw out some of our melee weapons really quick, because we don't need these. Drop. We'll keep one set of them just in case, but I want the bone club. What if I want to use that? I really, they should have just made it that you could change the controls. Like, entirely. Oh, Nintendo! But they've never done that before in a Zelda game, so it's not like there'd be really any real reason to. I'll just pick back. I feel like this is a little, uh, jump quest. Is there is there a treasure chest or anything over here that I'm gonna get? For doing this, or is this just, like, for BP? I guess technically I could probably just climb up the entire thing anyway. Yeah, I could just climb up the whole, the whole thing. So it's not really a jump quest, it's not Maple Story. Yep, okay. All right, we're done in here. Let's get out of here. Your stamina goes down pretty darn fast. All right, let's just head towards the light so we actually do something in, in today's episode. I'm doing something. Water, water. I'm exploring. Oh my gosh. I wonder if Link is gonna say anything. Oh, so you can hold it down even longer. 
Oh my goodness. My life. My little baby life. I'm going to take these guys on. Wait, it broke? Are you kidding me? Oh! Are you serious? <laughs> he just threw a keg bomb at me. Oh my god, that was amazing. Check this screen for hints that will surely aid you on your journey. Wow. Instead of throwing yourself at enemies over and over to no avail, try cooking special dishes and elixirs to give yourself better defense, extra damage, or more hearts. You can get more hearts just from cooking. Wow. All right. Well, I don't think... I, if I mess with those guys, I'm going to have to go ahead and blow this thing up. This is what I've learned. Oh, why didn't it blow up? All right. Let's just lure them away from their... Um, from their bomb. <laughs> At least this, this weapon's a lot faster. Oh my gosh, this weapon's so much faster. My axe is here, but it's about to break, so I'm just gonna take the club. Yo, look at this meat! Can we eat this? Raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking it has increased the flavor and the number of hearts it provides. So can I cook here? Oh, my club's on fire. But that's gonna decrease its durability, is it not? I feel like that... Yeah, my Bokobo is getting badly damaged. Okay. Well, now I learned a lesson. I want to just cook over this open flame. Why doesn't it teach me? I got really hot, but I didn't take any damage. All right, let's let's, let's go to the light. Yo, this game... Is that a spaceship in the sky? Did you guys see that airship over there? Why is there an airship in Zelda? Well, I mean, there can be airships in Zelda. He's got a bow and arrow. Give me that. Give me that right now. I want this. We got a bow and arrow. Equip a bow and attack enemies from afar. Oh my gosh. I don't have any bows. I don't have any bows. What am I doing? Wait, why am I... Wait. Can I get my weapon back? Thank you. Dude, there's a lot of these goons. Change bow quickly. Press and hold and then switch. <laughs> I get you to their switch. We got five arrows. There we go. And we just found another Bakbalin horn. What are you doing? How are you still alive? Get out of here with your naked butt. You're wearing a thong? I'm pretty sure he's wearing a thong. Bakbalin fang, a tooth obtained from a Bakbalin. Okay. All right. All right. So we're pretty close to where we got to be, thankfully. And just so you guys know, these videos are probably, I mean, you'll, you can tell by, um, oh, he's got a shield? Ah, oh, he just shielded. Stop it. He's shielding perfectly. There we go, with that crit. Give me the shield. Raise your shield, press and hold L. There we go. Now I'm feeling like a warrior. Is that a dagger? <gasps> a traveler's sword. Let's get it. I kind of like that my items can um can break. Now we're looking like a warrior. We got a shield, we got a bow, we got a sword. I think I can play this game forever. That's going to be a problem. Place the Sheikah slate on the pedestal. My gosh. Sheikah tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. I love that this, like the Sheikah is such a huge part of this game already. Like, they're like my favorite clan. I like Zora's Gorons. I mean, I've always loved the Sheikah. So. <sighs> oh my goodness. <sighs> this, might, this, is, this might end up being the best Zelda game of all time. This might end up being the best Zelda game of all time.
The Great Plateau Power Tower. Distilling local information. Oh my goodness. Regional map extracted. <laughs> Just takes it. All right, cool. We're good. This makes total sense. Nothing's weird here. Try. Try to remember. Looks like we're going back to been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Now then, you must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Do you hear it? They're playing Zelda's lullaby in the background. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I can't, I can't. There's so much, there's just so much nostalgia and everything. Oh my God. I didn't want to get damaged, so I didn't want to just drop down completely. Oh, that's- that's what I didn't want! That's what I didn't want! <laughs> Come on! Oh my gosh, this game is out of control. Out of control. Some- some items like bows allow you to target things by tilting. Nope! That- that's gone. Instead of throwing yourself at enemies- we've already read this. This is the second time. In 20, 25, 30, uh, 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. All right, so they literally made it a challenge just to get down from this tower. Which is fine. Which is fine. All right, so now we can let go. But we know on this side we cannot. Oh, that jumps up. Ah, so if you, ho if you tilt forward a little bit, it's gonna be a pain in the butt climbing up this every single time. Oh, it looks like you just run around in a circle. There we go. Oh! Who's that, Santa? It's old man Jenkins with a wind sail. Jesus. My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. Hmm. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Hmm. Well now, a voice you say. And did you happen to recognize the mysterious voice? Hmm. Mm, I see. Well, that is unfortunate. Telling you, he's the king, 100%. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity as, sh as shrouding, enshrouding the castle. Hmm. Yes, that. Is Calamity Ganon. What? 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain the evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Not too fast now. I'm trying to play this game. Ooh. I must ask you, courageous one. Ooh! Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do! <laughs> I had a feeling you would say that. <laughs> Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep, clip, steep, steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well... No death could be more certain, or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. 
paraglider? <laughs> oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Mm. Were we not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Mm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Oh, baby. Adventure log. Okay, here we go. After you descend from the tower, the old man told you that the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed 100 years ago by Calamity Ganon. You heard a voice coming from Hyrule Castle, but you cannot reach it unless you leave the plateau using the paraglider. The old man said that he will give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location somewhere. Hmm. Come, let me show you something. We get to follow you? I'm following you, old man. Just don't walk slower than sin, okay? I hope you just want to stand right here and let us look at that fiery looking rock over there. That's probably what it is. Yeah, right here. Sweet. Thank you. I, hey, oh, oh, you're gonna push me off. Ooh. Do you see that structure there? The one with the strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. Hmm. Places of interest? I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. All right, so we got to go over there. I do wish the stamina bar was a little bit longer, but honestly, um, we've never been able to run in a Zelda game before anyway, so it's literally just additional. Normally, it's always been this walking and then rolling, but there's no rolling, it seems. Okay. Uh, I was just going to jump in the water, but I've changed my mind. I don't feel like swimming. I don't know if swimming, actually, I kind of want to see how swimming works. Oh, we can search in here. Ancient screw, a screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material, but no matter how many times it's turned, its threads never seem to show sign of wear. Oh, that's cool. B for dash. We got a fish over here, can we take it? Or do I need a fishing rod? I probably need a fishing rod. With all the other, with all the other, um, what? Wow, if you run out of stamina, you drown. That's crazy. You can't even stay afloat. All right, we're going around then. We are going around then. Ancient spring. Okay, so there's like, there's some sort of ancient machine we're going to be building at some point, it seems. Definitely seems that way. The game is so quiet. But I like it. Super... Like, if you're in the middle of the field, you're really not hearing Muth. Muth? You're not hearing much. Where's my shield? There we go. Okay. Omano Shrine. Put our Sheikah Slate right on there. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Ah, for fast travel. Ooh, access granted. I love it. Oh, man. Oh, I love this game so much. I'm going to... It's going to suck having to stop to render this video. I'm not going to lie. It is going to suck. I wish I had a second computer right now. If you backflip or side hop away from... How do you do the flips? Can you tell, can you, can you tell, tell me, tell me how to do the flips? I'll figure it out right now. It's probably with lock on, whatever our lock on button is, which is L2, ZL. To you who sets a foot in the shrine, I am Omanao, in the name of the goddess area. I didn't catch the last part of that, my own sentence. Shoot, Omanao shrine. All right, where's the lock on? There we go. There we go with some backflips. Look at this room. These, I love the Sheikah hieroglyphics. It's so cool. I was talking to my wife about this. Like, it must be so cool to create some, like a world like this and do whatever you want in it. It's so dope. Sheikah Slate authenticated distilling rune. Dun, 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 dun. I love the little touches of Zelda. I love the little touches. I should have a lot of touches, but I, I, you know what I mean, like the nostalgic facts there. <laughs> Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Ruin extracted. So these are our power options that we saw in the menu before maybe? I don't know. Use selected rune from your Sheikah stone. What? Oh my gosh, this is so dope. 
Okay, I can't grab that. I thought I'd be able to grab it. No. Wow, that's really, really cool. All right, are there any other magnetic things I could do? Can I, can I, can I, can I do something with this gate? This is, this is, this is by far, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I really, I'm just gonna be beating a dead horse if I keep talking about how great this game is. Um, definitely worth, definitely, I'm 100% worth for me getting a Switch. Just for this game. They, they got me good. Let me in! There's gotta be, oh, this music. A Link to the Past? I don't understand. I would think that there's something I have to do in here. Because, like, I still have to get the treasure. I feel like it's super obvious what I have to do. And I'm just being a fool. Can't place a pin there. That's not what I want to do. I don't want to place a pin. I really feel like I'm supposed to grab that block. Maybe, maybe, maybe I get it in a different way. Maybe I get it in a different way. Let's not, let's not beat a dead horse. Is this a metallic object? Can we use this? Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is so dope. So we made it to the other side. Is it an enemy? Oh, baby. No way, I'm not getting- It's got lasers! Okay, I'm gonna get got. I don't have any more bows? I don't. Alright, we gotta go in. We gotta go in swinging. Chop him down to size. Oh, he's gonna explode? We got the ancient spring again. Oh my gosh, ancient. So is this, is this 100 years after Twilight Princess? I don't know. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything in this back room. Yo, this is like a pretty decent sized little dungeon. I thought it was gonna be kind of tiny in here. I guess that block's just there to show like, hey, you can move this one. I mean, I think that's weird because can't you climb up this wall? But you can't. You can't climb up this. Can you climb up this? You can't. All right, so only certain certain things you can climb up. And that's not one of them. <sighs> Best Zelda game of all time. Um, it's, it's definitely gonna fight for it. It has to, man. Like, I know it's too soon to tell, I get that, but. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, I messed up, okay? Come on, just bridge the gap. There you go, that's all I want. Thank you. I see a treasure chest up there. Wow, okay, so we can swing that open. What I would really like to do, though, is get this treasure chest. Is that possible at all? Nope, okay, never mind. I was, I was hoping, I was hoping that maybe, maybe something would happen. But I wonder what this is gonna, this is gonna trigger, let's find out. Oh my gosh, that's Al Man How? Don't touch, don't touch! Okay, touch. You have proven, proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman Ao, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. Yo. In the name of Goddess Hylia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. I think Goddess Hylia was covered in Skyward Sword. Please accept this spirit orb. I think. But I don't want to tell you guys what it is. If you want to look it up, you can. If you have, if, if maybe some of you guys do know. I do know, even though I've never played Skyward Sword. But I think that's the game it was detailed in. 
I know because I read the, the, the book. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Oh my Lanta. Holy Lanta, my friends. Holy freaking Lanta. Monsters thrive at nighttime, as do other things that can make adventuring dangerous. If you're low on hearts at night, find a campfire and lay low until morning. Use L down and B to kick off from the surface you're currently climbing. Oh. Oh yeah, I did that. All right, here we go. We're back at the Whoa. great place. Oh, there's old man Jenkins. He already wants, he already wants his treasure. Well, change the blue now, so he knew to come. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance! Oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be clear, crystal clear. <laughs> But perhaps that is not true for everyone. <laughs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine. Hmm. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip. Hmm. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited this land. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survives all this time hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places across the land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Uh -huh. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you my paraglider. So I need more, that wasn't the deal. Oh, oh. well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Oh, ho, ho. I am afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with your, you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. So I have this terrible feeling now that since he's sending me to get these spirit orbs, um, that he is not the king and that he's actually Ganon. I... I I hope that's not true. See those blue icons. You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. Yeah, I recognize that. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah slate. Fast travel, baby. Let's get it. Hmm. Oh, uh, so I heard. Quote, or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Yeah, I have a very bad feeling now. Well, we're going to wrap this one up today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of these Zelda videos. They should be coming daily. That's for certain. I love you so much. We're going to get the hashtag out of here. Have yourselves a good day. But above all else, keep it shady.